The following video was recorded a few months back. With bots becoming more sophisticated and the rise of transformer models like GPT and AI, identifying who's a bot and verifying information such as who said what is more important than ever. This video is about how Twitter can solve its blue check mark slash verification problem with a possible solution at the end. And we'll discuss how a decentralized social media could look like. More on that at the end of this video. So this may be a possible solution to Twitter's bot problem. The idea being proposed here is a Twitter verification system where Twitter profiles have a trust score associated with each account. Whereby the idea here is a profile with a high enough trust score that meets a threshold becomes verified and a profile with a low enough trust score based on factors such as a low user engagement but a ton of tweets can be assumed to be a bot or a spam account. This can be a potential solution at the very least to verify if a human is who they say they are. Now there are two approaches that we can use to solve this issue. Solution 1. Give all Twitter profiles a public trust score, which everyone can view. Or solution two, keep everything the exact same, but only publicly flare accounts that have been suspected of being spam accounts or potential bots. Now, this video is a bit of a discussion on how we could possibly attempt to solve Twitter's billion dollar bot problem and the technicals of how this would be implemented. And we will even discuss the groundworks for a decentralized social media. Now, the idea of a trust-based verification system isn't something theoretical. In fact, this approach is a feature that has been implemented on a decentralized social media I've been building, where users can post content, tip creators, and build a reputation all within a native ETH-based payment system. This video is more of a discussion that is worth exploring and forming a discussion in the comments below. Hi, my name is Eben. If you're interested in this type of content, consider leaving a like for the algorithm and well, let's begin. So how do we attempt to solve Twitter's bot problem? Present day social media is an interesting way to communicate. I mean, the idea of any profile having the potential to become a voice on a platform, post content, or even DM theoretically anyone on the planet has made our world feel like one global village. And as we pass a world population of 8 billion and a grown amount of humans gaining internet access, Social media companies will face an increasing number of challenges, growing in complexity. One issue that stands is verification. I mean, how can we tell if a user is who they say they are, or at the very least, identify if a user is a bot? bot. Bots. Now, what are bots? Ideally, bots are automated computer programs that are designed to execute a specific task, sometimes posing as real people. I mean, you've probably seen this in the form of fake profiles that automatically post comments or like your tweets, or at the very exact opposite, can be used to sway public opinion. Now, to note, not all bots are bad. There are useful bots. In fact, Twitter has a dev article on how to create a bot. A good example would be a bot that saves your tweet to Notion, or Reddit's article summary bot, which is designed to execute a specific task, making it easier for human users. However, with the breakthrough of innovation in AI, stable diffusion, and recently the many use cases of GPT-3, these bad bots are only going to get more sophisticated. So what's the issue Twitter is facing? Twitter has found itself as a global digital town square where users can connect with others and share information, whether being real-time news stories, entertainment, or even a series of odd tweets. Leading up to the $44 billion acquisition of Twitter by Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk has on record stated that he suspects that Twitter's user base could be up to 20% fake or spam accounts. And ever since Elon's acquisition of Twitter, the bot problem has been a foreground issue Twitter has been trying to solve. In fact, a new version of Twitter Blue being rolled out on November was a direct response to this issue, where Twitter Blue is a monthly subscription where users can pay an $8 fee in order to receive additional benefits as compared to a normal Twitter user. This includes priority tweets, editing of tweets, and on top of that, a blue check mark that proves that the following user has been verified. And the idea of a blue check mark for all users has been quite interesting. The first rollout of this verified feature seemed to have had the opposite intention, 
with some troll users pouncing at the idea of wielding a blue check mark for $8. Now, with Twitter's ongoing verification problem, accompanied by an array of other issues, the question is, how do we attempt to solve a billion dollar verification problem? Well, at least propose an idea. So what's the solution? Well, long story short, the proposal for this solution is based on trust. In theory, the digital world should be a reflection of the real world, at least in how we communicate. Let's enter the real world. In the real world, let's look at a small community, for example. A person earns trust through the value they provide to their community, and their track record of providing some sort of value over time can be seen as reputation or trust. And through their previous contributions to the community, other members are likely to engage and communicate with the given person. Now, the idea here is over time, the member would have built a large enough trust for the group to at least acknowledge that they are at least a human and not a real life bot, and at best a valuable contributor to the community. If only we can translate the idea of trust into a verification system, this is where the solution possibly lies. Let's enter the digital world. The proposal here is humans are likely to engage, quote, or tweet with other humans, and humans are unlikely to engage with simple bots. For example, if a profile is seen to mass tweet and leave comments under many profiles without much engagement back from other users, it can be safe to assume that the content they're posting is of low quality and is likely to be a bot or a spam account. So there are two identified approaches that we can implement, as mentioned earlier. Solution one, publicly flag suspected bots or spam accounts using a flare to inform other users that, hey, this may be a bot, would some form of, hey, prove that you're a human appeal process in the event of possible false positives. Or solution two, publicly implement some form of trust score where all users have an associated score and a user becomes verified over time with enough trust built. How a Twitter trust-based verification system could work. Now, there are various ways to model this proposed trust score algorithm. However, looking at the scale of Twitter and looking at already battle-tested algorithms, the approach here would be to implement a similar algorithm used to rank pages in search engines. This is known as the page rank algorithm, but instead of ranking pages, we'll be ranking Twitter profiles. The page rank algorithm is the concept behind Google search engine. And this is the exact same algorithm used to determine which website shows on the first page of Google. And the algorithm ranks sites based on backlinks. Ideally, page rank works by calculating the number of high quality websites that link to your specific page or website. This is used to determine a rough estimate of how important your site is. And that's pretty much how Google search works. And that's why a new site typically ranks on page one of Google as more blogs that happen to be credible are pointing to the original source of info, which is similar to how a research paper can be seen as more credible if it has a number of references pointing to the original source, which implies that the original paper has more relevance since other papers reference it. Now, taking the page rank algorithm theory as mentioned, Instead of ranking a site, we'll be ranking Twitter profiles, and the trust score would be a resulting metric of this calculation. Now, applying this to Twitter, this metric can be a combination of factors such as unique likes and unique retweets to determine the trust score, with all these factors having different weightings. For example, it will be increasingly complex for an instigating bot or a spam account to tweet and reply and gain human interaction, i.e. because a human is less likely to interact with a bot. So a bot would likely have a lower engagement, meaning a lower trust score. This assumes a high amount of tweets to engagement ratio. So the site would look a bit like this. Now we can stop here and we will have some form of trust score implemented. However, there's one problem. Given that the system is owned by a social media company, i.e. it's centralized. There's nothing stopping a social media company from manipulating a certain individual's trust score, which may defeat the whole purpose of a trust-based verification system. This is where decentralization plays a part. Now, this is where you may not agree, 
But a trust score must have no centralized authority, else we're trusting a single entity to play fair and not manipulate the trust score, which would defeat the purpose. If only this score could be managed on a decentralized database, like a blockchain. This is the idea where social media implements features that comes from blockchain technology. Now, it's quite unclear to propose how this can be technically implemented for Twitter without knowing much about Twitter's architecture. So we'll be using the decentralized social media project that I'm working on to prove this proof of concept. It's called JoinSpace. Ideally, it's like Reddit, but on Web3, whereby we have karma points. And as you all vote a user score, they receive a karma point, which is stored on a smart contract as a decentralized karma point system, rather than on Reddit's servers. Now for context, karma points are used in Reddit as points that are earned when a user upvotes another user's comment or a post. These points are non-transferable and users can view other users' karma points. Now typically, the higher the karma score, the more people have upvoted their content. And the idea here is the number of upvotes is associated with a user and the more credible the user is in the given community, the higher the karma score. Now imagine if we can get these karma points and we can commodify this as an asset on the blockchain in the form of tokens. And in fact, this is what JoinSpace implements, an upvote point system logged on the blockchain associated with a user's profile or wallet address. Each point or upvote can be seen as a proportion of tokens awarded to the user. And at the very heart of this, these points are ERC20 tokens, which can virtually represent any asset on the blockchain. I've got a video that goes into more detail about this if you would like to know more. So applying this to Twitter, the trust score can be represented by a token equivalent assigned to an individual user, where a decentralized Twitter-like system handles this process. And these tokens can be non-transferable, similar to how Reddit's karma points work. So it can't be traded, which can be a problem in of itself. The idea of implementing blockchain solutions into social media may not only solve this problem, but also lay out the blueprints for a future decentralized social media. For example, awards and privileges based on the token balance or the trust score milestone a user or profile achieves. So bringing this back, how does a trust-based verification system solve Twitter's bot problem? Well, given the time it takes to develop trust, this would make it more increasingly difficult for a simple bot to pose as a genuine human, as well as making it increasingly expensive and non-practical to run a bot farm. And as a way to prevent users from gaming the system, similar to page ranks, different factors would have different weightings to the score. For example, the number of unique visitors with a high trust score uh, engaging with a post would have a more weighting as compared to a bot who's just randomly posting on different pages. And this is a way to prevent bots hosting boosting lobbies. So the idea of a Twitter verification system has been an early feature already implemented in JoinSpace, a web-free decentralized social media. And this is a live dApp that you can post on whereby you'll build a reputation and get verified by a number of upvotes awarded by the community. Think of it like Reddit, but on web-free. Connect your wallet, post, and interact just like you'll do with Reddit. More information in the description below. The proposal of a trust-based verification system could provide Twitter with a plausible solution to verify Twitter users through a page rank algorithm to build trust, eventually becoming verified. And this system makes it increasingly more difficult to run large bot farms given it takes time to build a reputation and bots can be identified more easier. And the two identified ways to implement this is publicly flag suspected bots as spam accounts using a flare to inform other users that, hey, this may be a bot with some form of human approval uh, for the event of false positives. Or solution number two, publicly implement some form of trust score where all users have an associated score and a user becomes verified over time with enough trust built. Now, this video is based on an article that I read earlier about Twitter verification, and you can find more about this in the description below. Thanks for watching. The next video, we'll be talking about how an actual implementation of a decentralized social media could look like, and it's something I've been working on for a while. 
It's called Join Space and in fact it's live now. We'll talk about how it works and possibly even lay out the blueprints for a decentralized social media, such as decentralized moderators. Hit the like button for the algorithm. And until then, stay awesome. I'll see you then. Peace.